doing good. How are you doing? But are there extra emotions going into this week one game? Uh, yeah, because it's the first game of the season. I think uh, everybody's going to be emotional. Everybody's going to be jacked up uh, just to get back out there on the field. Um, but, you know, I, a lot of people are going to try to, you know, bring a lot of drama around this game. But it's, it's just the Broncos versus the Seahawks on Monday night. Russell Wilson told us he's still in touch with you pretty, pretty regularly. How did you take all of that, and how is your relationship with Matt? What do you take from him now that he's not um, Well, he, I think, um, thank him for you know everything he taught me while he was here. Um, but I know this is a business, um, and you know it was a it was a business decision on, on his end and the team's end. Uh, you know, for him to move on. Uh, same with Bobby. Um, I still talk to them, you know, regularly, uh, probably once a week. But um, I mean. Like I, like I said, it's just a business decision. Um, you know, I don't. I took my emotions out of it. Uh, you know, we're still good friends, still brothers at the end of the day. DK, what are your impressions of uh, Denver secondary, especially Sertan and Simmons? Yeah, uh, they had a talented secondary. Um, you know, Sertan was real good. I played against him at uh, Bama uh, his his freshman year, um, and Simmons is an established uh, safety as well. They got, um, you know, uh, another uh, safety is uh, Kareem, uh, who's been established as well. So, I mean, they got a, a, a veteran secondary um, that's going to give us, uh, you know, a challenge up um, up front as well as on the back end. So, just looking uh, to take that challenge head on and just see, you know, what we can do um, when we snap the ball. As you are when you have a guy at corner like Sir Tanner plays that much press, you're just kind of looking your chops. Not to, not to underestimate him, but just right. like, oh yeah, here we go. No, I don't. I don't really think about the DB because they got to guard me at the end of the day. You've been around Geno Smith the whole time you've been here. And now he's stepping in the starting role. Just what have you seen from him this training camp, this preseason, as he's taken the whole thing? Right. Um, well, I just seen you know the same person ever since I first got here. Um, you know, Russ was here when I first got here, so. Me and Gino would have a lot of conversations on the side, you know, about uh, the secondary of the opposing team that we were going against. But now that he's in the driver's seat, you really get to see him, you know, as a mature person, as a mature leader in the quarterback position. Um, I think he's going to, you know, surprise a lot of people with how mature he is in his decision making at the quarterback position. So uh, it's just fun to see him, you know, just step into that role and just take take advantage of it. He was just telling us that you really run around looking looking great out there. We obviously didn't see you in the preseason, but did it take you any time at all to get past the, the foot thing and kind of get back to where you were prior to that? Or? Uh, no, it didn't, it didn't take me, well, a lot. Yeah, it took me about a week to uh, get back used to running around on the football field. DK, uh, both Gino and Drew have strong arms, as Russell did. Do you think uh, you had to make any adjustments regarding to chemistry or your routes in the training camp and regarding to the playing? Uh, time with them. Do you think you have enough chemistry with Gino as he was a backup last year to succeed as you have in the last years with Russ? Um, I think we're going to be able to tell that on Monday. Uh, I think we do have a lot of chemistry just by the reps that we took uh, during practice and during the off season. Um, so like I said, we're going to see uh, Monday how the chemistry is. But I think the chemistry is, is just fine. You and Russell had a good relationship here. It seems like you still do. Um, but it's also an opponent, or about to be an opponent on Monday night. And it's stadium known for its home field advantage. Do you have any thoughts on how you want fans to receive him? I'm not a fan, so no, I don't care. Uh, the game, uh, last year, the NFC West was considered the strongest division in, in the entire NFL. How do you see the competition in the division this year with the San Francisco with the new quarterback? Uh, DeAndre Hopkins is suspended six weeks. Uh, of course, the, the Rams are the reigning champions. How do you see the competition in this division in 2022? Right. Uh, well, I, I look at it as you know a, a whole league of, of great players and a great competition because you know we're we're all here for a reason. So uh, last year, yeah, our division was was pretty good, but um, you know this year, I mean, every opponent that we have to uh, face this year is going to be a, a competitive game and a competition. You know, no matter if we're playing the Lions or you know, lined up against the Rams. Uh, every team is good in this league. Does not being on the top 100 mean anything to you at all? No, I don't, I don't care. Do, when they ask the players, do you usually vote for the top 100? I vote for myself first, one through 10. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't care about rankings and all of that, no. What, what does that ballot look like? Uh, it's just, uh, you got a list of 10 people that people just put down names. So it's blank list, you just fill yep. in 10 names? Yep. Isn't that right, Joe?
It was a minute ago, man. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't remember. <laughs> I'm being healthy. When was the last time you were as healthy as you are now? Um, I would say second year, my second year in the league. Um, I know I had a lot of uh, rest uh, this offseason uh, to where I could get my foot right and get other things cleaned up um, to where I wasn't, you know, pressing to try to work out, um, you know, another injury or a nagging injury that's been lingering uh, for a long time. So just getting the foot cleaned up was a, a big step for me. The opportunity that presents for you to contribute to the team and hopefully get a win. What was the question? I'm just saying, what opportunity does that provide for you? You can just talk about how excited you are now that you're fully, fully healthy to contribute to the team and get a win. Right. Uh, I mean, I'm not worried about, you know, a nagging injury uh, that's been lingering. So uh, it, my focus is, you know, completely on, you know, all right, what's my job? What's my responsibility? And, you know, making uh, sure I execute that to the best of my ability. Cool to see Tyler, like the captain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's cool to see uh, Tyler up there. Um, I know he's he's uh, you know been waiting for this opportunity for a long time, and just to see him, you know, our peers, uh, you know, vote him as a, a team captain is real big. DK, when you came out uh, from Ole Miss, there were some critics, which I I thought at the time watching your tape at Rebels that were unfair regarding your road trip, that you were just a vertical guy and stuff like that. How's been the process of you know developing and upgrading? I, I guess your raw tree since then. Uh, so what's the what's the question you asked? Yeah, back then in the draft, right. there was there were some critics that I thought it was unfair about your raw tree mm -hmm. that you were just a vertical guy, right. which you are not. But have you put extra effort to upgrade your raw tree or stuff like that to perhaps clean with a chip in your shoulder? I guess. Uh, no, I mean, I, I've always known I can run routes. So it's just uh, fine-tuning those things with uh, probably Sanjay and Nate and, uh, you know, my other coaches on the offense. Do you watch a lot of football just in your free time as a fan? No, nah, I, don't, I don't like watching football. I always like watching football. I play it enough. <laughs> I'm up here from 7 to 5. <laughs> I don't need no more football. <laughs> what, what do you do then? Uh, I play video games. Of all the things that you've like dove into outside of football, cooking or acting or music or, or uh, what track even, what's been the most difficult thing to kind of jump into? That's the great uh, playing the guitar. I tried to play the guitar and I'll last probably three, four days, put it down, try to pick it back up. And I'm back to square one. So I got to be consistent with it. So you weren't very good. Huh? You weren't very good. No, I'm not going to say I'm not very good at that. You're putting words in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just got to be more consistent. That's it. Did you have someone teaching you? Or no, I'm trying to learn off YouTube. Acoustic yeah. or electric? Electric. What kind of music are you guys? See, look, you asked too many questions. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. what I know it's a black electric guitar. Yeah. <laughs> it looked cool. I'll say that. Have you you've been able to start your restaurant in Oxford? Or that's not, uh, right? not yet. But um, I, I had a few phone calls with um, you know some healthy restaurants from uh, Arizona called Protein House, and we're, we're in the works for it. You'd like to be a, would you like to star in a movie someday? Is that on the list? Yes. Yeah. Star in a movie? Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Would you want to star in a movie? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Do you have a preference on that? What, what, what uh, whichever one comes first, because with, with something like that, is I'm not going to be picky at all. Do you care if like, action movie would be a superhero or anything? I mean, superheroes does sound cool. Yeah. <laughs> anything else? Right here. Uh, it seems like it's kind of your your first season where expectations from outside are kind of lower than in years past. I mean, I think they had over under on wins on the ESPN at like five and a half or something. So seeing that, what does that mean to you? I mean, is that enter into your mind motivation to prove people wrong? No, I, I uh, had to learn to stop letting outside noise or outside people be, you know, motivation for myself or for the team because, you know, that people are going to talk regardless whether, you know, if we had Russ or didn't have Russ, if we got Bobby, didn't have Bobby, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, I think uh, a lot of people outside of this building have a lot to say, but the uh, only thing that matters is, you know, us because, you know, we practice with each other. We have to deal with each other on a daily basis. So, you know, a lot of people are going to be surprised by what we do this year. Uh, we have a, a team uh, in Seattle from ESPN Brazil, yeah? and uh, uh, like I said, the Seahawks fans are very popular in Brazil. And one play, uh, your play in this case, that went viral in Brazil was that Butterbaker 
play where you chase him. And uh, just uh, if you could give a shout out to Brazil fans, Seahawks fans, and talk about that play for us, please. Uh, so are you fully healthy? That play just told that just told us that. Yeah, that was my second year in the league. I was healthy. Uh, <laughs> um, shout out to all the fans out there in Brazil, especially the Seahawks fans. Um, and well, the ball was picked. I saw the player running down the field, and I just went and got him. <laughs> That's the best I, I can uh, describe it. In video games, you a Madden guy or you know? I hate Madden. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to play Madden. <laughs> Call of Duty? Yeah, I love Call of Duty. Yeah. That's my game. No sports games? No. I'm trying to think, no. Call of Duty is the only thing out there. <laughs> no Guitar Hero? <laughs> <laughs> about playing guitar at all because he got a noise violation in his dorm back at Wazoo. For See, I ain't even know that. Yeah, he's a guitar player. He plays guitar? Maybe he could help you. I appreciate that. Yeah. What's your name? Doug. Doug? Yeah. I'm going to tell him Doug told me. I'm snitching on you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, DK. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.